guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin, by the way, if you're new here, and welcome! I hope you will join us. I hope you all had a beautiful and creative week. Let's get into today's video. I am sorry that this is going up just a wee bit late, as, you know, it's just been one of those weeks, you know, where nothing <laughs> seems to be going smoothly or right, and there's all sorts of delays or distractions, and... <sighs> It's, it's been one of those weeks, and it's been very frustrating. But anyways, I will be introducing you guys to an OC next week, once I restock my paper, which I had no idea I was out of <laughs> until Monday. So it's just like, ugh, and I haven't been able to replace it yet. But I am very excited for a new project I've just begun, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So, for this video, I've had this line art of this Zentangled inspired fairy hanging around for quite a bit and she was just sitting there on my shelf as she was supposed to be for a coloring book I was working on. But that was before coloring books became really popular and now the market is just, I find, so oversaturated with so many coloring books. Well, they're all beautiful and they're all really inspiring. I just sort of lost interest in making a coloring book after that because there's just so many out there and I feel like I would be putting a drop in a bucket in coloring books. So I decided that it'd be nice to actually finish her instead of leaving her as a line work. And as you can see from all the little teeny tiny details, as most of you know I love to do. Uh, she will take me quite a bit to finish, and I don't want to rush finishing this. I want to take my time, and so she'll come out looking exactly like I, I want her to. And I want her to come out really lovely as well. And thank goodness I had something on paper, and, you know, after I realized, after I ran out of paper, oh, I gotta check over my supplies a little bit thoroughly. <laughs> Um, I gave her horns like Maleficent because that's one of my favorite movies and Maleficent's horns are just so awesome. Just they're, they're beautiful looking in that movie and I wanted to do something similar with this little fairy here. Also, uh, she's a little bit, I think I said earlier that she's inspired by Zen Tangles and so I've added little Zen Tangle like details to her which was so super relaxing and fun and I just let my mind go blank instead of doing a lot of pre-planning with this and it was a great way to de-stress drawing her and I hope that shows in her face and um, yeah it was a it was a lot of fun I have a few more other Zentangled inspired fairies like her in my pile which at some point I hope I can get to finish um, but as of right now, I'm going to finish this one. And I think that wraps up this little voiceover. I'm trying to talk more in my voiceovers. I know I don't talk very much. I'm very shy, actually, in real life. So thinking of something to say is quite hard. And anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching and spending your time with me today. And I wish you a wonderful, beautiful weekend, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!